Every day, no matter what happens, whether I'm in Oklahoma or, or whether I'm in Milan, the, 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 the two hours that remain the same are those two hours when we're on stage. And every night is different. And I like that. That's, that's a challenge to us every night, to, to play music that is going to sound like it's our first time playing it. That's really, I think, one of the, the tricks about going out on the road.
from a laughing baby's mouth If he could take it from the money man Cross Hunt Mary Goes chomping in again She signs no contract But she always plays the game She doesn't have the village On expands the county prison And the jackknife barber Drops her up and Playground gets no picks from little boys. Would rather make it with a legend grave. And maybe her attention is drawn by a quallug who watches through the railings as they play. Cross and Mary finds it hard to get along. She's a poor man's French girl. And she'll do it for a song She's a rich man stealer And her favor's got it strong She's a Robin Hood of Heineken Helps a fall man get away favorite songs that we've never played live. Uh, I've got songs that we've played live that I've never liked, but still enjoy playing them. I mean, over the years have been lots of pieces that I have loved playing. Maybe a, a personal favorite in some ways is Roots to Branches. Weavers and naked humble believers. Grew 
crusades and creeds descend like fiery flakes of snow. Bats mouth on a Friday, hope no one's listening. Roots down in the wet clay, rents is glistening. Roots to rents is, roots to rents is, roots to rents is. started playing where there would be three, five, six people in the audience and uh, yeah, we, you know, we would play shows and people would just, uh, you know, kind of just look at us and go, mm -hmm. ignore us and you know, we'd pack up and go home, back to our parents in some cases, my chilly bed sitter in Luton in my case and, and it was, you know, it was actually damn depressing really, you know, I thought, is this it, is this being a professional musician, it was, it, it was, it was tough. I 
didn't think how much you'd hurt me. Yeah, it's something that I laugh about. Bring in the good times, baby, and let the bad times out. actually the smallest acoustic guitar that I have. I particularly like this one, you know, my favorite of all of them, mainly because it, it, makes, me, it makes me look bigger. <laughs> it's just not a bad move for a little guy. Um, the improbable, the improbable tale of uh, a little elf-like creature who uh, looks after all the things that grow and lives in England's green and pleasant woodland <laughs> is about to unfold with a bit of luck. <laughs> Yeah, he looks after all the things that grow during the cold winter months, allowing them to be reborn again as new in the spring. What utter tosh. But we'll go along with it for a laugh. This is called Jack in the Green. Have you seen the Jack in the Green? With his long tail hanging down He quietly sits under every tree In the folds of his velvet gown He drinks from the empty acorn cup The dew that dawn sweetly bestows And taps his cane upon the ground he signals the snow drops, it's time to blow It's no fun being Jack in the green No place to dance, no time for song He wears the colors of the summer soldier 
carries a green flag on winter's on the pond. Jack, do you never sleep? And does the green still run deep in your heart? Oh, oh, oh. Or will these changing times more to waste? Our lives keep us apart. Oh, oh. oh well, I don't think so. I saw some grass going through the papers today. The charges them to quit. Each plate of cross whispers Jack in the pink. Oh, Jack plays helping through a winter's night. And we are the berries on the holly tree. And the missile flash is coming, Jack, what out the light. Jethro Tull music for me is the most taxing kind of music and I've played it all as a jobbing musician. Tull music, however, is music that you have to concentrate on when you're playing it. In a mathematical sense, you know, the sort of time signature things and the, and the, the oddities within the music were difficult and challenging but then once you've learnt to deal with them you then erase those from your, your mind and you, and you can concentrate on just enjoying it and uh, not having to think about it. But yeah, th th there was probably in the mid 70s was when the, when the music got quite complicated. And yeah, it was difficult. Was, we re rehearsed a lot and albums were difficult to make. The, the fact that I've, I've had some experience of, of jazz and of classical music in the past really so sort of maybe kind of attracted me to, to, to Ian because it meant that I was in theory able to do this stuff but it really is unique in that, in that respect. To be pushed to your limit like that is really healthy and it's scary as shit, you know. Being everything to everybody. Started off as being a little old blues band and then became a, a rock blues band, blues rock band, whatever you want to call it. A classic rock band, a folk rock band, art rock band, even a progressive rock band. Yeah, back in 72, 73, we were just for a little while a progressive rock band who made concept albums. Yeah, well, don't worry, we're not going to do that to you tonight. <laughs> well, maybe just for eight minutes and 54 seconds. Which is going to seem like a bloody hour and three quarters. <laughs> There's a piece from 72 called Thick as a Brick. Really don't mind if you sit this one note My words but a whisper your deficit I may make you feel but I can't make you think Your sperm's in the gutter, your love's in the sink So you ride yourselves over the fields And you make all your animal deals And your wives fed down To be thick has a brick The sand castle virtues are all swept away In the tidal destruction, the moral malay The elastic retreat rings the close of place As the last wave uncovers the newfangled way Let your new shoes worn at the heels And your suntan is rapidly healed And your wise 
this man town know how it feels to be thick as a boy. Love that I feel is so far away. I'm a bad dream that I just can't entertain. Well, if you say it, said it's a shame. Send me back down the years and the days of my youth To all the lace and black curtains and shut out the whole truth Spin me down the long ages, let them sing the song
So you ride yourself over in the fields And you make all your animal tails And your wise men don't know how it feels to be thick as a It's always been a band, and I hope it always is a band. It, 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 takes, um, it takes a team effort, believe me. The band is a reflection who, of whoever is in the band at that time. And um, everybody is really expected to bring their own personality into the band. <laughs> All of Jethro Tull's musicians have, have, have had a very all-round approach to, to ha the way they've played, and so it is playing within a band rather than being a bunch of solo performers that each get their little uh, slot. It, it, it's never been that way. I, I hear the bass in a very particular way. It, 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 it's like, I don't know, it's, 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 it's stealth, you know. Stealth bass player, you know. Yeah. You don't see him, but you feel him. Initially, I had to interpret and reinterpret the parts of all the great drummers who came before me. But listening to the music, it was important for me to keep the, the flavor and the identity of the original pieces, but to be able to play something that also fell quite naturally under my own hands. I've always thought that if I went to see my favorite band, I'd actually want to hear the songs recreated as they are on the record. So I try very hard to listen to what's going on and, and recreating those parts. We'd actually have a string quartet coming along to do a couple of acoustic tracks. Um, and, uh, and it's nice working with those tonal qualities and working with that sort of real emotional thing. Wondering aloud how we feel Last night at the sunset, my hand in the hair. We are our own saviors as we start both our hearts beating life. Wondering aloud, will the airs treat us well? As she floats in the kitchen, I'm tasting the smell. It's only the giving that makes you better than what you are.
heavy mind again Let the rest in your mind in a I would just personally like to thank all the fans that, that, that come to see us year in and year out all over the world that we get to play to. And it's because of them that we get to go and earn our livings as musicians. And that, to me, is a real privilege. We're blessed with an audience of all ages. So, you know, the, our loyal fan base are now bringing their children. People have been following the band uh, you know, since 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 day one, and there are people that have been to 200 shows, 250 shows. I saw them in Italy, in Paris, and Utrecht, in Holland, and several parts of the U.S. Trying to get through customs at uh, Denmark because I had a leather jacket with Jethro Tull written on the back in studs, but decided to. Uh, Robbers in and look up me arse for drugs. I haven't missed a, a UK tour since the first time I saw them in 1969. I saw them at Hammersmith in London and uh, 
played a great set. They seem to be really enjoying themselves after all this time. Well, just seeing Jethro Tull any time is a highlight. I think I've seen them close to 100 times now, and still it's a highlight. Well, I think the real highlights last year was what they did in Italy at our convention. Which they played a different set, different from the tour one, and that was really amazing. And I think that if I had to pick up one song, it would be Jack and the Cream. My favourite really would have to be a really obscure B-side called Summer Day Sands, um, which I doubt whether Ian even remembers how to play. Thick as a Brick as well is also... Uh, Dunringle got us together. We heard it played in a pub by somebody else, and we both had an interest in Tull. And uh, I asked her out because she said, Oh, that's Dunringle, isn't it? From Stormwatch. And I'd never met a girl before who'd heard of Jethro Tull, let alone knew what songs they were on. Uh, Hunt by Numbers from um, Dot Com, superb. Makes the ground shape when they play that one.
and I, I used to be terrified, I mean absolutely terrified of being on a stage, it, even when I was at school and started in, in bands at the age of 15. And, and because I had to go through it to, to such a, 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 a big degree, now I, I don't, I, I just feel the excitement, uh, nerve, uh, the nervous feeling of playing live is a good feeling. I like to pretend like this is the first time I'm going out on stage the first night of a tour. You know, there's that kind of, there's a little bit of that edge of nervousness and butterflies, and that's actually kind of good. It's pretty sort of awesome when you consider who's been standing where I've been standing and seen the same view. I mean, maybe less beards, you know, um, um, and that's just the women. This is a 300-year-old piece of music. It was written originally by J.S. Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, or Johnny to his friends. And when I lived in a little bed-sitting room in the top of an old house in Kentish Town in the summer of 1968, there was a, a guy living in the room underneath who was an aspiring classical guitar student. And he used to play this, this piece of music over and over and over again, driving me fucking nuts. So I decided to get my own back on him, and on bloody J.S. Bach as well, and, and turn this into a frankly quite loathsome piece of cocktail lounge jazz. It's a lot of fun to play, and I, I suspect that if J.S. Bach was here tonight, well, he'd just jump right up on the stage and probably kill me. And Jonathan Noyce, who will attempt the bass solo with great gusto. This is uh, J.S. Bach's Bourree. got the bass solo, which is, um, which is pretty hard work actually, and you've got to give it some welly as well. Thank you. 
Down to the front of the stage comes a uh, big boy, Don Perry. He's come all the way from Los Angeles and the drum riser to play his little bongos. He's uh, a man of very small bongos, tiny, tiny little bongos. He's going to play his little heart and his little bongos right out. <laughs> and while Andrew Giddings will summon squeezy noises from the, the German instrument from hell, the squeezy thing, the squeezy thing. I've, I've become fond of the, the squeezy thing only because it's kind of like cuddling an animal now. It's Ian's idea of a joke. He knows that I hate playing the accordion, so every opportunity, you know, for me to play it, he'll, he'll pick a song where there's accordion in it. Jonathan Noyes has a, a Middle Eastern percussion instrument called the Darbuka. When I used to play in, um, in orchestras, I used to play percussion in orchestras. We, we, we were taught all this etiquette about how to stand. So that, that, that's, always, that's always stayed with me. But these days I just treat him mean. It's more mysterious, you know, a mysterious kind of guy. Springing from the hill, it irrigates your soul. You may drink your fill. Water of life carried high. One hand upon the gallant chart, Peter picks my eye. Every good traveler's for the taking, all good money for the making. Sellers market, wet appeal, water carrier, let's make the deal. Covered face 
and black pole lines Between us no words spoken, no words to the wise Here's to another time and a drink somewhere Blush on a night carpet on a cafe chair Every good traveler's for the taking Hog and muddy for the making Seller's market when it peel Water carrier lets you pay the deal Springing from the hill It irrigates your soul You may drink your pill Water of life Carried high One hand upon the gallant chart Feel it fix my eye
kind of going over having played it for a couple of years is a song Budapest, mainly because it, it embodies lots of elements of different Jethro Tull styles over the years. It's a little bit of classical feel, a little bit of bluesy stuff, a little bit of folky thing. It's, it's acoustic, it's rock, it's got a big ending, you know, a big guitar stuff going on. It's got a little bit of everything in there. She was a middle distance one. The translation wasn't clear. To be a body, stately hero. International competition of the year. She was good enough reason for her heart's pain. Well, I couldn't keep up on a hard track ride. While she ran a perfect circle And she wore a perfect smile In Budapest All the lights in Budapest We had a cozy up in the old gymnasium Dusting off the mandolins and checking them again well, she was helping out at the backstage Stopping hearts and chilling fear Yes, and her legs went on forever Like staring up an infinity Through a wisp of cotton pants Along a skin of satin sleep Budapest. If you cut the heat, peel it back with the wrong side of a knife. Feel it blowing from the side, it feels feel like you were playing for your life. Give up the money. Hey. She bent down to load the ice box And she stops some more warm white wine Like so weird on her vacation Wearing on a t-shirt and some skin You know it ripples just a hint of muscle But the boys and me were headed west so we left her to the lake room And a hot night in Budapest It was a hot night in Budapest
the star of the late night restaurant She would have sent blue shivers down the wall Yeah, but she didn't grace her table In fact, she wasn't there at all Yes, and her legs went on forever Like staring up at infinity Spinning to the west pass And she didn't care to be That night in Budapest Was a whole night in Budapest She did and craze her table. And she wasn't there at all. It wasn't a hot night in Budapest. I'm
the rabbit was introduced in, in the thick as a brick days where we just came up with zany ideas. And I, I think we just wanted to laugh at ourselves and you know, it seemed to make sense at the time. But, and, and the rabbit just became sort of a traditional figure. I just love playing live or anywhere, anytime, in any environment. But we try to do, when we go out and play, play a little bit from every era so that we have covered a little bit of ground, hopefully different ground every time we go out, um, of the various incarnations of Jethro Tull. But there's so many, so many fabulous pieces of music to play. If you've got good songs, you can't, you can't wish for anything better. Sitting on the park bench I think little girls with bad intent With snout running down his nose The crazy banger smearing shabby clouds Yeah, well I'm He's drying in the cold sun Watching as a really panties run Go ahead, but I'm And feeling like a dead duck Spitting out pieces of its broken luck Yeah, but I'm The sun streaking cold And an old man Wandering lonely, taking time the only way he knows. Leg hurting bad as he bends to the big guitar end when he goes down to the bog and warms his feet. Streaking cold, a no man wandering lonely, taking time the only way he knows. Leg hurting bad as he bends to pick a target. He goes down to the mob and warms his feet.
One of my friends, and I would just start away and they say, Oh, you poor old son, you see, it's only me. Ah, oh, you know, it's only a me. Hey, hey! Thank you very much. You've been very kind to us. Good to see you again. A big good night there from Jonathan Noyce on bass guitar. Jonathan Noyce. On the drums, don't Perry. Hi, don't. On the keyboard, Andy Giddings. And on lead guitar, Martin Lancelot Bar. Martin Bar. Hurrah! Thanks again. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I mean, every day I wake up and think, well, you know, I'm a lucky guy. You know, I'm doing what I love doing, usually in the sunshine, and uh, it's lasted this long, long may it continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as people want to come and see us, and, uh, uh, and they're as encouraging as they have been for the last 11 years I've been with the band, suits me. I, I, I try not to think about it, because I, I think many years ago I, I worried about how long it would last, and th then it seemed pointless to worry about it, because... <laughs> Uh, it's, it's either going to happen or it won't. And as long as there's a Jethro Tell and, and I'm a sort of cheerful and enjoy playing live and feel positive about it, I, I definitely would want to do it as well. You know, I, I guess all of us are in a generation now where we don't, unlike our parents, you know, we, we don't have to retire when we're 55 or 65 or whatever. You know, we're, we're, we're part of a new age where we have access to communications worldwide via the internet. You know, people can can carry on working and being productive as long as health is uh, is there and the, and the will is there. You know, I, I, I would think another 10 years or so of being, uh, being a working musician in the way that we do it, I, I would think that's possible. Is that all? Can't there be more? Bring it on, yeah. There's, you know, there used, there used to be, and there still is, yeah, you know, a degree of uh, snobbery about you know, the age of, of a musician or the age of a band, but you don't stop making music um, when, you're, when you're 40. You don't stop when you're 50. It's a commitment to life, you know. 
it's, you know, it's like you don't stop breathing.
strode by the headland, the early lights of winter glow. I'll pour a cup to you, my darling, and raise it up, say, cheerio.